When you're, when you're focusing on driving um, at, at the event, do you have to put all the politicking at the back of your mind? Because Mercedes and Audi like to wind each other up, don't they? All the team orders nonsense. It's got to, uh, it's got to be uh, ironed out. Absolutely. I mean, when you're driving, you have to ignore it, you know. But when uh, you're, you're leading a race and you come up against some Audi backmarkers that manage to hold you up for about three laps, you know, when, there's, when they shouldn't be, that's when you get quite annoyed with it. But um, especially, you know, what happened at Zandvoort this year when um, I won the race um, quite convincingly. An Ekstrom sort of main championship rival at the time was back in sort of fifth or sixth position. Um, and then about two laps later, he was second. And, and that was uh, very frustrating to, you know, not gain as many points as we should have done. And, and that was all down to team tactics. And that's what we have to stop because the fans don't enjoy it, the drivers don't enjoy it, and, and the press just um, hunt on it. So it's, um, it needs to, to be stopped um, to a certain extent, really. How do you get on off track with your, with your fellow Merc drivers and indeed your, your Audi rivals? Are you, can you be mates off track? <sighs> yeah, I mean... Um, you know, all the all the Mercedes drivers, we all get on. You know, we uh, we don't really have many differences on the track. You know, we fight against each other pretty hard, but we're always pretty clean. And off the track, we all get on really well. You know, we're like a, you know like a family, like everybody says. Um, and the Audi drivers, you know, there's not um, there's not no Audi, Audi drivers that I really don't like. I mean, there's a couple that I've got uh, quite specific differences with. That I have had over the years, you know, and um, one Tom Christensen. I've, I've always had a very strange relationship with Tom, but, uh, but we get on pretty well, you know. Um, and, you know, we all get on quite well. Um, there's obviously things that happen and um, people fall out with each other, but, but generally there's no real big differences. Everybody's pretty friendly, I think, in the whole series. What about 2010 for you? Can you uh, reveal yet what you're up to? Uh, yeah, so, um, you know, for me, I'm going to be continuing with, with DTM, with Mercedes, uh, HWA in, in a new car again. So fighting for the championship and trying to win the championship that perhaps we should have won last year. Um, you know, trying to make it my second DTM championship would be really good. Um, and also continuing with, uh, with McLaren, continuing the testing work with McLaren, trying to develop the car and help the uh, nearly all British team now try and win a championship. So. Of course, there's the, uh, the other uh, issue of the, the Mercedes um, cars. So have you got uh, four cars to, uh, to choose from? I wish I did have. There's, there's maybe four possibilities now, which is nice. But, um, but no, I mean, I haven't uh, obviously been involved in that at all. You know, we're quite separate from what we're doing in DTM, although Norbert's still running both of them. You know, I've got my job in DTM with Mercedes and, and I've got my job in F1 with McLaren, um, you know, and although we're still in very good contact with, with, with Mercedes and Norbert, you know, McLaren still have Mercedes engines. They still have a relationship there between them, um, although they're going to be rivals. So there's, um, yeah, there is rivalry there, but, um, you know, I'm very much with McLaren in Formula One and then with uh, Mercedes or HWA and DTM. So. You won the championship, of course, uh, back in 2005, and then you went off F1 testing. Was it a little bit demoralizing to then have to go back to the DTM and in an old car? It wasn't, um, it wasn't demoralizing at all to go back to DTM because I, if, any, if I had my way, I would have stayed in DTM in 2006 um, as well as test. But the, the thing was, in 2006, there was so much testing, you couldn't do both of them, basically. So I had to choose one or the other. Um, so going back to DTM was always going to be an option, I think. And, and it was obviously disappointing that when I went back, I couldn't have a new car straight away. You know, I was expecting that to happen, you know, obviously being a former champion. Um, but, you know, they have to respect the, uh, the drivers they've got. They have to give the drivers they've got uh, time in the cars. And they had four drivers in new cars already. So uh, the only sort of space there was without making room was in an old car. So I spent, um, actually spent two years uh, in, a, in a year old car, which um, for me was, was tough. But... You know, I got my head down. I did uh, the best job I could. Uh, I was the first, pers first ever person to win a race in a year-old car. It's and only been done um, one more time, hasn't it? Yeah, with, I mean, with Jamie. Jamie yeah. yeah, Jamie only did it this year as well. So there's only two people that ever won in a year-old car. Um, and you know, I worked hard for two years and, and got myself back in a new car. And I've now proven, you know, why why that is. You know, I've had three years in a new car in total, and I finished first once and second twice. So, you know, I've shown that I can uh, certainly do the job for Mercedes and. It is tough, but you've just got to, to plug away. You know, okay, you're in an old car, but you're still racing in DTM for Mercedes, which isn't a bad deal. So, Quick word about uh, Jensen and Lewis. Um, how do you see that dynamic uh, playing out over the year? 
I think it's going to be fantastic for everybody to watch. You know, I think um, knowing Lewis, how determined he is, how hardworking he is, uh, and Jensen has obviously done a, a fantastic job, uh, especially you know last year winning the World Championship. Um, it's a, a brave move coming to McLaren for sure because uh, Lewis has been there for a few years now, uh, knows the team very well. But you know the, the team has a, a, a great uh, a great package and it has a, gr a great sort of spirit about it. And you know both drivers will get you know absolutely equal treatment and and, and will be driven very hard and I think they will push each other so hard that, that it can only get better as the season goes on you know they're not two people that are gonna fall out with each other you know they're just gonna push each other as hard as they can and I think that the relationship will just get better and better and that will help the car and the team to develop and what about you uh, aspirations to, to race in Formula One I assume using your Mercedes connections Obviously, I mean, a young driver, you, you always want to be racing in Formula One and you never lose that, that dream and that desire. Um, so every year you're seeing what opportunities are available. And um, as you say, I mean, now Mercedes only a team of their own uh, obviously gives me more opportunities. Uh, but it's certainly no dead cert I'm going to be there, but um, it gives more opportunities. So, you know, we're still going to be looking to see what's available. I now have... I now am in a position where I have a great job with uh, racing in DTM for Mercedes, with uh, testing for McLaren. I've got a great package and, 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 and both teams have been fantastic to me. So to sort of throw that away and, and go and do something, it would have to be a pretty serious offer for something that's going to be more than sort of a, a one year deal, I would say. You know, it had to be a pretty serious offer. I mean, you look at all the new teams coming in this year and we had a sort of a very tentative look at, uh, at what the possibilities were with any of them teams. But um, at the moment, it's quite difficult to see how much of a future they're all going to have, really. We wish you all the best, of course. Uh, have a great season. Uh, thanks for talking to us. Gary Paffett. Thank you. Thanks.